Hey everybody, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to let Google Webmaster Tools know what the URL of your sitemap is so it can start crawling your content and give you some information about how your site is ranking and possibly identify some problems to help you rank better. So in a previous video, I showed you how to generate a sitemap using the WordPress SEO by Yoast plugin. And essentially the whole process was install the plugin, hover over SEO, click on XML sitemaps, and then we choose our settings through in these, in these three tabs. I go through each tab in the other video. It, it, I link to it below, so you can check out that video if you want. We click on Save Changes, and then you click on XML sitemap here, and you can see the sitemap that was generated. This sitemap actually contains two different sitemaps. One is the post sitemap, one is the page sitemap. So when you click on each one, you will see a listing of posts in the post sitemap, a listing of pages in the page sitemap. So we're going to go to Google Webmaster Tools now and link up this sitemap with our website that we verified in Google Webmaster Tools. So we type webmaster.google.com, click on sign in to search console. If you don't have a Google account, you'll have to make one in order to access this and verify your site. If you watched our previous tutorial, then you've already verified your site. I've linked to that one below as well. But once you're in here, you find the website that you verified. In this case, it was wp-phd.com, which is our test site, our demo site. And then you click on that, and the first page you come to, you see current status, crawl errors, search analytics, and sitemaps. You don't see anything going on here because we actually just verified this five minutes ago. You don't see data until Google's had a chance to actually take a look at your site and assess what's going on. What we can do to make that go a little faster is add the sitemap. So on the right hand side, we click on the sitemap header, and then we click add slash test sitemap in the top. And then it wants the URL of the sitemap. I actually submit each of these separately. So instead of submitting the full sitemap at sitemap underscore index, I submit the post sitemap and the page sitemap separately. So we paste that into here, click on test, and it should be a positive test. View the results. So it shows 14 pages submitted with eight images, no errors found. So that means that sitemap is good to submit. Unfortunately, there's no button that says, okay, now submit this, please. You actually have to do that process again. Paste in the URL, click on submit sitemap, and then sitemap submitted, refresh the page. And now we'll see our post sitemap is in there. And I will quickly add in the, the page sitemap and then show you some information that we get from having these sitemaps in there. Okay, so now we have both the, po the posts and the pages submitted. Um, the pages sitemap is still pending. Usually they're not pending for long. But once they're both in here, you see some information. So for the post sitemap, 14 pages have been submitted. Eight images have been submitted. And then when you go on these tabs, once these sitemaps have been in here for a few days, Google will actually tell you how many of these pages are in the index. So usually you have less pages in the in index than you have pages. So you might have 14 pages, but only 10 of them are in the index. Or you might have 1,000 pages, but only 800 of them are in the index. But it will show you how many you have in the index and you can use that to identify problems on your site. So if you have a whole lot of pages, but very few of them are in the index, then there's a problem with your website. And chances are you will find out what the problem is inside the Google Webmaster Tools. And I have other videos that help you go through that. This one was just to show you how to submit a sitemap. Now Google will go and analyze the page, compare it to the index, see what's in the index, and it will give you some information about your website. I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like and share this video if it helped you. Check out our social media feed, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com where we write about WordPress every single day. Talk to you soon.